Hello everyone, today we will uh, talk about AS Ethernet IP uh, connection. So in Ethernet IP, we will have a uh, explicit and implicit. So uh, we quickly check the main difference here. For implicit is a real-time data and explicit is a diagnostic or event data. So this one is basically uh, like a PDO and explicit like a SDO. So what uh, can Delta S PLC uh, offer for the communication? Basically, uh, for S PLC, we built into a mobile serial port. This is uh, IS485. We have uh, two serial port. Then uh, for can open, we got a DX uh, V01. For the S200, this one is built in. And for S300, we need to uh, purchase a can open function card. Then for S POC, it's uh, also built in a mobile TCP and Ethernet IP. Regarding Ethernet IP, uh, we have uh, two types implicit and explicit. So, implicit, we can do the data mapping in our uh, ERP builder, but for the explicit, we need to use our uh, ISP soft to do some programming. And for this portion, it's definitely you can link to a uh, third party. Ethernet IP device, but here we just use a Delta POC as the example. So the system architecture like this, uh, this is our laptop and IP address, and for S would work as the master or scanner, and the IP address is a point one point ten. Then this one is a Delta F port or DBS Ethernet switch. Then this is a twelve SC, uh, and its uh, IP address is point one point five. So uh, we quickly go through the spec. So uh, today we will show you how to rewrite the data register. And you can see the data register uh, class, uh, class code is uh, 69. And this one is for instance. OK, then for the attribute, attribute for the data register is uh, 64. So uh, later we will show the example of write uh, data register. So you can see it's uh, under click 69 and attribute is uh, 64. Then instant ID, instant ID here means uh, it, uh, if we want to read uh, D0, then it will be uh, 1. Then uh, D1, it will be uh, 2. And in Eastern IP, we will uh, also have the function call, uh, like uh, in MOBUS, uh, and here we call it a service call. So uh, as we just mentioned, uh, if we want to read or uh, write, then we use a uh, 10. Okay, so here we use a uh, Ethernet, a uh, command manager Ethernet, then we can search the device we already connect in the network. Uh, here you can find for uh, 12 SE or uh, IP is out. 0.1.5 as we just mentioned, and this one is for AS POC. Okay, so we download the program. Okay, so we, I uh, change here to Ethernet and uh, IP address. We try download again. Okay, so once you done, uh, and remember switch the status to wrong. Okay. Uh, here we give uh, 16 shop 10 means uh, it's a uh, hex decimal of uh, 10. And as we mentioned, the Clex ID is 69. And this instant ID uh, is a uh, what? Uh, if we get keep zero, then means uh, this. Uh, sorry, if we keep one, then means uh, this zero. And attribute ID is uh, 64.
then here's uh, how many bytes if we just want to write one uh, one word so we'll give uh, two bytes then value uh, okay for testing we just give one one then um, we give a uh, trigger signal okay and you will show uh, here you will show uh, the communication status status to means already done so we open another software Okay, this one is for the 12 SE, so we upload a program. And you can see the program is actually just a, a protocol, a serial port to uh, define. And here we open an, a monitor, device monitor cable. And here we go to uh, D0 and switch online. So you will see the value become uh, 111. And okay, again we modify from here. We change the value to to here. And we trigger again. And you can see it's now changed to 2222. <coughs> Okay, and as we mentioned, if we want to modify uh, 100, okay, so we change to uh, instant ID uh, 100, then we trigger. So here we should go to the 99, the 99. Okay, so you will see it become 11. And how about if we want to read the status? So here we should change the function call to uh, 0E. Okay, so we can uh, change the value from here. Okay, so you will see this is the rate value we read from uh, 12 is uh, equal to 100. Uh, so that's all for uh, today's uh, Ethernet ID introduction.